chance. And here we have two teams that feel like they have that quarterback position of the future settled. There's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be some moments where that youth rears its head. But over the long term, both these organizations feel like they have an answer at the most critical position in all of sports. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. You'd love to see the biggest jump of a young quarterback's career might be between year one and year two. When you think about what these young quarterbacks go through entering their rookie year, they have the entire pre-draft process. Then the idea of being drafted and going to a new organization and learning what it means to play quarterback in the NFL. Well, in year two, everything's not new. Everything's not a first experience. It allows them to just take a deep breath, play, develop, rely on what got you here. We see so many many quarterbacks in year two really have their breakout campaigns and show, frankly, why they were the starter to begin with in their rookie year. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up and they fail through the air and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Here's first and ten. A play fake. Now Williams. A dive and a catch. Incredible. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. A play fake. And they'll throw with Williams. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away. And incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And it'll lead to a second down. Now the former Eagle and Lion is back in the NFC North. It's DeAndre Swift. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. He'll try to run for it. It's Swift. It's a pickup of 13 yards. First down, Chicago. They will run it over center with Swift. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over a 1,000 yards rushing, and he's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. And he won't get much. Take him down at about the 12. Look him up on a second down and eight. Now Williams. And he's going to be taken down back at the 20-yard line. Daniil Hunter, pass rusher extraordinaire action again work to do following the sack it is third and long operating from the shotgun it's Williams adds to the end zone but they can't connect it's Ingram on fourth down it's Cairo Santos on for the Bears field goal his kick is good and the Bears will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field. Texans offense ready now for their second drive. This one has been tight so far. A field goal. 
separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Dell motioning over. They'll go right back to Mixon. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. He'll try to run for it. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Here's Tommy Townsend now. And he's on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Bears offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They had the field goal on the opening drive to take the early lead. See if they can improve on it here. Three nothing is our score, and it's first and ten. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. From the shotgun, it's Williams. On the out, connecting with Allen. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. And this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. A gain of 11 on that one. Good for a Bears first down. And the Bears first Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And is caught downfield by Odunze. What about that? Out of bounds, all the way down inside the 15. Still get a first down at the 1. First and 10, they go from the 11. Here's Williams now to throw. A pressure there, he got to him. He's hit as he threw it, and that pass falls incomplete. On second down, it's Williams. That's hauled in at the 2. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. On third in the yard, it's Williams. That is caught by the tight end. Cole Komet, touchdown Bears. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. The well, Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. Andrew Billings from the interior, there to bring him down. A second down throw for Stroud. He's got his man. That's Nico Collins. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. First and ten. Dell motioning over. A run here with Mixon. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And he's going to have a first down. Good run down inside the 45-yard line. Yeah. 
Schultz is the motion man. They'll go play action with Stroud. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds, so possession does not change hands. Throwing on second down, Stroud. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. One quarter. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. And he'll take this down to about the 15. Second down and eight. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's a run. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. From a little further back, here's second and goal. From the gun, here's Stroud. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. The Bears have it. He gets free. The quarterback was on the move, starting to gain some yards, but then he lost the ball. And the fumbles were covered by the defense. And early on, Mike, it was actually a really good job by the quarterback extending that play, getting some positive yards with his legs, but he decided not to slide and give himself up. He takes that hit, loses the ball, and now the defense takes over. Got his man at the six. He is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs. And that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Here's Strap. That's to the left side and taken in by Diggs. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after. Oh, the ball comes out! And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure, and the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So. Can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. He'll take this forward for about a yard at best. It is Aziz Alshire with the stop. They need to get this to the 23. Here's third down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. The field goal unit on the sideline. 
They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll go. It's Swift. And he's going to have the Bears first down. He's brought down after a gain of seven on fourth and two. Another run here. Another run by Swift. Trying to avoid tacklers there, but the ball is out. So as you start operating your red zone offense, of course it goes without saying, Mike, you're trying to score touchdowns. But the worst case scenario is that you bring your field goal unit and you at least try for three. You have to protect the ball. Turnovers are the cardinal sin of red zone offense. In this case, they dodge a little bit of a bullet here. The ball comes loose. Fortunately for the ball carrier, his own team recovers it. They can keep their offense on the field and see if they can finish this drive. Throwing is Williams. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. The defensive coaches, they preach all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Throwing on second down, Williams. They'll try to set up the screen here to Swift. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup, because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down, where it's a little bit more manageable. Two minutes to go here, till halftime. Greg and I, back from Houston, in a moment. Good job so far by the defense, protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. To throw is Williams. He's got it at the three. The Texans gonna go ahead and use their first time out here. offense staying out there for this fourth and goal they're going for it here's Williams and he's not gonna get there they stopped them at the goal line it's a turnover on downs a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and ten they'll begin on the ground and here's Mixon not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Here we go. They'll run for the first time with their fullback. And he'll get this very close to a first down. A nice run there. Just end up a little bit short. Third and a yard. Stroud to throw. Left side, it's complete. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. To throw is Stroud. Open man, that's Collins. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. On first and ten, here's Stroud. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That'll be taken in by Mixon. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Complete to Diggs. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Here's Stroud. He's got his man. Complete to Dell. And he'll be taken down. 
So we have reached halftime and the visiting Bears are in front. As we'll send you over to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Valus Jones now on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. So they come to the line for first down and 10. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. A gain of 14. Good for a quick first down. Here's Williams now to throw. That's complete to Moore on the right side. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. And this is just more of the same, picking up exactly where he left off in the first half. And these numbers, Mike, as you see them, they just pop out at you. I mean, he has been the driving force of this offense from the very start. On first and 10, it's Williams. And that's going to be incomplete, but a flag down in the backfield. That's the area we usually see holding. Darnell Wright guilty that time. Still first down. Williams. Here's a screen taken in by Swift. And that'll help a bit. They're still well short of the sticks. Solid pickup on that first down play. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first in a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. On second down, it's Williams. That is going to be Hall in. He's got it. D.J. Moore. Touchdown, Bear. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are able to extend out to a 24-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Damian Pierce. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position. First down, they'll start with Mixon. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. They will work the middle with Mixon. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. On the bootleg, it's Stroud. He's got his man. It's Diggs. It'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. A throw left side finds Dell. He'll come up here on second down and five. From the gun, here's Stroud. 
Looking downfield, he's got Schultz, the tight end. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. Stroud to throw here on first down. Fighting for the goal line. He lost the football. It's out. And he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Whoa. Have a friend in the right spot at the right time. The fumble, not a turnover, but a TD. Throwing is Stroud. That is caught. And they get the two-point conversion. I know it sounds like I'm being biased, Mike, but I'm really not. Down here, this close to the end zone, especially on two-point tries, the size, the length, the athleticism, and matchups these tight ends can create, man, they are a tough handle, and it leads to two points. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Another great throw, and that's been the story as you check out these numbers. I mean, he has done everything this team has asked of him and more. They'll come up here first and ten. The tight end, Komet, is on the move. Off play action. Here's Williams. A throw right side is intercepted. That's the safety, Jimmy Ward. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. To the left side, and caught by Schultz. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest gain. Throwing on second down, Stroud. That one caught by Tank Dell. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line. On first down, it's Stroud. That's to the left side and taken in by Diggs. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Stroud to throw here on first and 10. He'll go right back to Diggs. He's got it again. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They'll go play action with Stroud. Open man downfield. It's Nico Collins. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. On first and 10, here's Stroud. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. It's the linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That one into the hands of Moore downfield. Not quite to the end zone, but in great position, out of bounds at the three. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. Here's Williams. 
He's got his big tight end. Cole Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. The Texans' offense about ready to take over once more. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. That'll be taken in by Mixon. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Trying the right side, taken in by Collins. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Stroud. Just trying to avoid the rush there. He's hit as he threw in the pass is incomplete. Throwing from the pistol, Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Now, Stroud. He's got his man complete to Dell. And he will be taken down a bit. Set to go now on first and ten. Back to throw. Stroud. He's got it inside the five. And he's going to be brought down. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. They'll run here with Mixon. Try to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. A little closer. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Mixon. And this time, he's in. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Houston. Stroud comes to the lot. The Texan is going for two. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. That's pulled in. And they're able to tag on the two-point conversion. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy is better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. And as we look back at some of the highlights of this one, Greg, definitely a lot to show from the passing game. Yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of learning to do because you just get burned time and time again. You'd think at some point you'd make an adjustment and make a correction. So at this point, they've given up four touchdown passes you're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL giving up that production in one phase of the game. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Williams to throw on second down. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. Call it a gain of 13. First down, Chicago. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Right back to Moore, another grab. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. First and 10 now from the 36. First 
To throw it again. It's Williams. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. Just didn't quite get enough into that ball. You see sometimes the pressure, the rush, force a quarterback to throw the ball off his back foot. And I think there was a little bit of that here at play. You have to be willing to step up, even in the face of pressure, and get enough behind that ball to put that one a little bit more on the money. It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Bears first down. Two possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stop it. It'll take it down inside the 20. A run into the red zone, a pickup of six. They'll come up now for second down and four. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. That's caught left side by Odunze. The Bears are going to have themselves a first and goal. He's out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Gain of 12 and a first down. They'll run with Swift, and he's into the end zone. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Bears. Santos for the extra point. He knocks it through, and the Bears will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Texans offense ready for this next possession. Things not looking good. But he can get the turnaround going here. They start this drive with first down. And they'll get about half what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. And he's going to be run out after a gain of about six, but that'll be good enough for a first down. From the gun, here's Stroud. He's got Dell for that one. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Here's first and ten. Now, Stroud. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And get about six before he's taken down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. They get the conversion with a gain of 22. First down, it's Stroud. To the left side, caught by Schultz. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They'll come up to third and three. Here's Stroud. He's got his tight end. It's Schultz. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. All right. Here's Stroud. He's got it at the three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find. And it brings up a manageable. 
And he will fight his way to the end zone. C.J. Stroud. Touchdown, Texans. They'll drop to throw. That is caught. And they get the two-point conversion. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. That one complete to Moore. And he's going to be taken down at about the 30. Here's Williams on first and 10. There's that man again. Another catch. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here. The stoppage comes with just over a minute to play in this one. Out of the shotgun, it's a give to Swift. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. They'll go again with Swift. The Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. A huge advantage to red zone offense is the ability to run the ball. In this case, I thought he was going to score. He takes it all the way down inside the two, sets up first and goal. Here's Williams. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are going to extend their lead. Down to the final few seconds of this one as the kick is away. Here's Pierce for the return. Yeah! And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So this one, a win for the visiting Bears. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Houston, Good night, everyone.